Okay, a new device which lets you use a note. Um, you're sending in MIDI notes in here and you can um, change any mappable parameter in Ableton Live uh, going up or down um, with this hit you are sending in. Okay, so um, let us create an example. So for example, if I want to have three different uh, drum racks uh, in different chains and want those to be selected by an external drum pad as well, this device is quite useful. Okay, so we don't need the preview here. So let us create a drum rack um, or several drum racks in groups. So I can open up the group view here or the chain view inside grouped drum racks. And now I have three drum kits, drum racks, um, which are now playing all at the same time. And I can separate those by selecting different chains. So let's take one, two and three. And now only when the chain selector here is on this um, certain um, chain. This chain will play. So, for example, it's now on the first one. Uh, second one. And the third one. Okay, so I'm getting some funny latency here because I'm using a screencast software and the sound is being routed there as well. So, uh, cool. Okay, so you now want this chain selector here being controlled by um, another pads of your drum, um, external drum device or any other external MIDI device which is sending MIDI notes. So you can do this with this device. So first you need to map the parameter you need to switch. So in this case this would be the chain selector. So let's activate the map button Zack. and so click on the chain selector and now the uh, name will show up here as well. You can deselect this um, or, and then do it with something else if you want to. Okay. Uh, the next thing is we have um, a minimum value of 1 and a maximum value of 3. So these are the values I want to jump uh, in between or select in between. So this is 1 to 3 and now I need to MIDI map those up and down buttons. So I can do this with the MIDI map menu for example. So let's pick a few pads. Let's select the next one and sync this one up. And I have one more here, which is a reset function. This could be mapped as well. So let's do it like this. So what's happening now? Um, every time I'm hitting the up, it's going one up. Uh, I have to hit it quite hard. The shoulder pads of the Roland SPDSX need a bit of a hard stroke, or I can go down as well. Okay. So that's how easy it is. If I have a lot of racks in here or a lot of chains and I want to switch back to the reset uh, to the first value, which in my case is the value number one, I can hit the reset button here, which I mapped as well. And so this is now being jumping back. So I can play now my different uh, sounds and kits and then change on my SPDSX. So this is now going to the second chain and to the third chain as well. Cool. Okay. Um, I added one more function here because I really like that you are able to um, not lose MIDI notes um, by uh, why <laughs> by MIDI mapping those. So as soon as you MIDI map notes uh, for remote functions, you are not able to use those for uh, playing sounds anymore. So what I did in this device here is I added a few two windows here, which lets you define to which MIDI note, incoming MIDI note, it should go up or down. You need to activate this and then in my case, C3 and C3 sharp three are doing the thing here. And as you can hear, 
there's a note going through as well. So these blue um, toggles here define if the note should go through or not. You can always see this by those uh, views here. There's a note coming in and it's changing it as well. But if I turn this one on, you will see a note is uh, being sent here as well. Those shoulder pads from the SPDSX, interesting. Okay, so um, there's another non-selected notes through or not function. So this means um, all the notes which are not selected in here should go, should they go through if it's activated, they are going through. If it's deactivated, they are not going through. So this could make sense if you have uh, multiple devices, not to uh, map devices in one MIDI track and you don't have the actual sound engine on the same track and you don't want the notes to, to go through here. So um, the non-selected notes. So in my case, obviously, I have the drum rack sitting here. So I want the notes to go through just to show you. Now those notes won't go through and be let through by the device. Okay, have fun with the device. Uh, let me know if you need any support or anything. I do online Skype sessions as well. And obviously this takes a little time always to create those devices. So if you get the device, uh, maybe think about uh, donating a few bucks. That would be really appreciated. Thank you.